Now, while you've got your wallet out, you can get yourself up to one of them shops, get another big bottle of water and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ice creams. Oh, we don't want to be any trouble. Five ice creams. Although if they're mint chop chip. Seven ice creams and hurry up, it's hot. Are we at the beach yet? Yeah, we passed it ages ago, but I thought we'd keep walking for the fun of it. Mum, we've passed the beach. No, we haven't, darling. Your dad's just been stupid. Can we stop for a drink? Where's that bottle of water I bought? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I had the last of that. We're stopping here in case you forgot. Your daughter's six months pregnant. Oh, she's all right. It's like a camel's up that she can go for days without water. I'm the one who needs a drink. I've got a gob like Gandhi's flip flop. We're going here. You're even tight when it's not your own money. Is this all right for you? Oh, yes, yeah, perfect. Are you OK? Oh, yes. I'm just not used to being on my feet so much. Right, come on. Get him in, Garvey. Hang on a minute, that's the joke shop. This is it, we're here. The beach is just through the alley round the corner. Brilliant! Come on. God's sake. <laughs> Done that. Dad, please can I have a bucket and spade? They don't have buckets and spades in Spain, son. They just use their hands. Right, okay. You tight bastard. Morning. It's just the five, is it? What, love? The five yeah. sunbeds. Uh, yeah, why? What's 25 euros? <gasps> Are you checking the fit? What is five euros for each sunbed? Five euro to use a sunbed? These should be free. Oh, I know, they did used to be free, but that's uh, going back a good few years now. <sighs> right, come on, we've been to the beach, now we're off back. Oh. You're joking? I'm not going home yet, I'm knackered. Oh, I want to stay at the beach. Please, can we stay at the beach? Pay the woman. But five euros a piece, they're free. I said pay her. God, unbelievable. Uh, three, please. Um, we don't actually have any money. Madge invited us as her guests. What the hell? Tell you what, um, just give us the 20, but don't tell anyone or I'll get shot. All right, cheers, nice one. You have a lovely day. <laughs> now, while you've got your wallet out, you can get yourself up to one of them shops, get another big bottle of water and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ice creams. Oh, we don't want to be any trouble. Five ice creams. Although if they're mint chop chip... Seven ice creams and hurry up, it's hot. <laughs> If the double ones will have coffee cream as well. No, they won't be. That's the last you'll see of him today. Shut it. So, last day of our holidays. Back to the grind tomorrow. I think you've done enough grinding while we've been here. I thought we'd agreed to forget that. No, Troy, we agreed to leave it, not forget it. Although, if you can tell me how I can forget that my partner of 15 years shagged the barman on our first holiday in God knows when, I'd be fascinated to learn. In case I was drunk, I don't even fancy him. What do you mean you don't fancy him? He's gorgeous. Yeah, but he's not bad looking. But he's not exactly marrying material. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean... Will you marry me? What? A civil partnership. This weekend, when we get home. I arranged it before we came away. Believe it or not, Gavin, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Gavin Ramsbottom, will you marry me? I've got nothing to wear. I'll take that as a yes. OK, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure today to give you the first aids. In today's course, I will be showing you how to make someone alive when they are dead and how to squeeze people when they are choking on this sausage. There is a problem, Miss Temple Savage. Yes, there is a problem. Due to our high turnover of staff, I realised weeks ago that we have no first aiders, which is illegal. So I booked a first aid course, but this is the third time they've cancelled. Do you need someone to show first aid? I can do this. 
I don't mean a quick mouth to mouth on your pick of the female staff. I need a fully qualified first aider. Yes, I am quite qualified. Mm. In my hotel in Madrid, I took a course to teach others first aid. Oh. Really, Miss Temple Savage, I have the sticky foot. Sticky foot? What's that? The, the paper to say I have the first aids. Certificate? You mean you have a certificate? Yes, it's what I'm saying. The last thing I need is... What on earth is going on out there? Oh, is that you, Kenneth? Are you all right? Of course I'm not all right. Are you stuck? No, I'm just testing out the horn. All oh, right. Where are you going? Of course I'm bloody stuck. What on earth is going on? It's Kenneth, he's stuck. I didn't know he had a car. Things can't be that bad. Very sporty. I bet it goes fast. With Kenneth in it, I'm not so sure. Will you stop your friggin' chit chat and help me to get out? Tell you help him. You need to grease him up. Oh, I might have something in my case. <laughs> God, me conflict! Hey, oh. I never touched you. It was probably him. Tell you, will you get up with Payment to come inside? How could a hotel to run, you know? You're welcome. Welcome? You nearly brought me bloody back. What the hell's going on? <sighs> What are you doing dressed like that? Between you and me, love, I'm about to come into an awful lot of money. Uh, uh, uh. OK, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure today to give you the first aids. In today's course, I will be showing you how to make someone alive when they are dead and how to squeeze people when they are choking on their sausage. You've got to be you. OK, first of all, if you find a holiday maker who has died, they will look something like this. They will, of course, be fatter, but this is all the poof I had. So, first, we have to make the heart of the person start again. Do not worry, this will not happen to you with a real person. I could make a joke now about the girl in a bikini going down on me. But since this is a serious subject, I will not be doing this. Come on, man, this is ridiculous. Excuse me, Les, I am only halfway through. I now have to show you how to stop a drunk person from choking on the sausage. It is called the Heineken Maneuver. May I please have a volunteer? No, Miguel, put down your hand. Perhaps, Amber, you would like to choke on my sausage? I think we both know the answer to that. Yeah. Okay, will you please hurry? Time is of the effluence. It was actually a no from me. It was. Okay, Miguel, come here. <clears throat> okay, look at them, not me. Let us be imagining that Miguel is having trouble with his sausage. First, we make a position behind the victim and put your arms around just above his waist. You are then needing to pump him as hard as you can. God, he's choking on his own sausage. Big breaths, pal. Big breaths. Thank you for your kind attentions, ladies and gentlemen. This is the extermination of today's demonstration. Right, what are you two doing? Bloody hell! I don't remember calling Ghostbusters, do you? <laughs> Very amusing. Imagine I need a word. What about... We need to tell you something. Janie, please, give me one more chance. No, I told you, you sucked. Please, I have explained. I, I was in bed all night with a fever. Oh, I'm sure you were in bed all night. But not how do you think. I swear to you, the reason I didn't go to work last night was because I was not well. Janie, please, I need this job. Oh, shit, I get changed. Hey, I didn't say yes yet. 
Thanks so much for coming, Kate. Shame we can't fly back together. Well, you have your return ticket paid for. It would be insane to buy another one. Well, I can't buy another one because I don't have that kind of money. Well, that's sorted then. Oh, God, I almost forgot. I've got you something. Martin, I've got to go. Wait there one minute. You ordered a taxi for the airport? Yes. South side. Thank you. As you both know, I came back to Benidorm with the idea of setting up some kind of business. Very brave for a man four foot eight in Cuban heels. Can we just listen to what he's got to say? Instead of setting up my own venture, I've decided to buy an established business here in Benidorm. Can't tell you what it is yet before I've sealed the deal. But we want you to know that Madge and I are relocating. Relocating where? We're buying a business in Benidorm. Where do you think we're relocating to? Skegness? I don't understand. Crying out loud, what's it to understand? Me and Mel are buying a business and we're staying in Benidorm. For how long? Permanently. You can't just not come home. We need to discuss it. Why do we need to discuss it? What's it got to do with you? What's the UK got to offer us? Bad weather, the credit crunch and miserable people. Why didn't you talk to us? Hey, look on the bright side. If they do stay here, that's two less miserable people in the UK. What business have you bought? I'm sorry, Jans. We can't discuss that before the papers have been signed. In fact, we're just off to do that now. I'll tell you what. Mick will go with you and I'll stay here and talk to my mother. I'm not staying here. I'm going with Mel. Well, we'll all go. It'll be a nice day out. If you think I'm spending the last days of my holiday chasing around after Donald and Ivana Trump, you can f*** off. In fact, I do need you to come with us, Mick. There are a few things I need to discuss with you. Forget it. There's a pool through there with my name on it. Well, I do have to hand over the UK sunbed shops to someone. Come on, you lot. These papers aren't going to sign themselves, are they? Right there. Who's it going? Hola. Wink McAndrew. What? Wink. McAndrew. I don't know what that means. No, man. That's my name. Wink McAndrew. Are you speaking English? Of course I'm speaking English, you numpty. I should have arrived on the coach, but there was a problem with my flight. I'm sorry, this just sounds like a noise to me. You gotta be joking me. You never had a Glaswegian book then? Still just a noise. <laughs> you alright, pal? <laughs> I mean, he's actually not a bad mover. Right. It might help us if you define the word bad. You need music, Oh, we knew you'd be back, the pair of you, didn't we, Jacqueline? Oh, yes. Well, actually, it's a belated honeymoon. Oh, lovely. Because this is where you proposed, didn't it? Yes. We've returned to the scene of the crime. How romantic. Yeah. <laughs> Plus 160 quid all inclusive for a week. Cost more to stay at home. Oh, exactly. We've got a friend at our sauna, Big Donna. She's been banned from most of the all-you-can-eat restaurants in our area, hasn't she? She's a big girl. But she comes to Benidorm and they just let her get on with it here, don't they? It's buffy heaven. She even got caught smuggling pancake rolls in her knickers from Mr Woo's. But they just gave her a doggy bag. <laughs> it's as if we never left. <laughs> How's your chicken, ma'am? A bit bland. Wish I'd gone for the beef curtains. <laughs> beef medallions, ma'am. Do you mind? <laughs> beef curtains! You knew what she meant! Oh, Jesus! Who needs Capri? Did your mother sat there? Shut up. Hi, love. Did you get him sorted? Yeah, they were dead tough to have him. Oh, lovely. It's only for a couple of hours, isn't it? Yeah. Where's Mel? He'll be here soon. He was getting changed. Does Mel like beef curtains, man? 
<laughs> Will you pack it in? What are beef curtains? Now look what you've done. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone all right for drinks? Bottle an orange, Mag? Uh, no. No, I'm fine, thank you. Back in a minute. Jesus, looks like we're getting cabaret after all. Well, hello, Saturday Night Fever. Is that the bloke that was wearing the thong yesterday? Yes, quite a natty dresser. I've got a swimsuit with a thong. Mm. It's very summery, but it can ride up a bit, if you know what I mean. Uh, excuse me, could you cancel my order for the blancmange? <laughs> Say he's made an effort. You should try it sometime. No, if I end up looking like that. I mean, he's actually not a bad mover. Right. It might help us if you define the word bad. Quite sexy in some ways, isn't it? Talk about! I'm sorry, are we all looking at the same thing? Don't get me wrong. He's not conventionally attractive, but I have been known to go for some unusual types in my time. You don't say. May I help you? Hey, I'm sorry. I was supposed to meet someone here. Name? The Oracle. I mean, Jeff. I mean, I mean, Lysley. Is this a group booking? Lysley, it, it'll be under the name. Lysley, two people. This way, please, sir. Drink while you wait, sir? Pie lager, please. But of course, sir. <sighs> Come on, Jeff. Don't mess this one up. You never know she could be the one. Hello. You must be Jeff. I'm Leslie. Yeah, I'm sorry about earlier on, but uh, I had a flat tyre. I'd done my own servicing and uh, I'd forgotten to grease my wheel nuts. <laughs> so I've been on my hands and knees all afternoon. <laughs> nice here, mate, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, when I first came to Bennett home, I thought it was all English breakfast and karaoke, but you'd be surprised. I haven't been. Now then, uh, before we go any further, there's something I want to tell you, Jeff. Okay. We chatted online a lot yesterday, and well, there was one thing I wasn't completely truthful about. Really? Yeah. I want to get it out of the way now. I mean, we don't want an elephant in the room, so to speak. No, I don't want that. No. 
or I've got a sneaking suspicion you know what I'm gonna say. Right across my mind. Jeff. I'm not 35. Ayla? No. I wasn't 100% honest with you on that score. Right. I mean, I've been nervous about telling you that, but, well, you, you haven't done a runner yet. I can't move. Well, I must say, that's a weight off me shoulders. Me and you, and say not, I may be in my 40s, but I'm not dead yet. As me old grandma said as I were trying to zip up the body bag. <laughs> uh, do you know, I don't know what it is, but I feel very relaxed with you, Jeff. Some men give me the creeps, you know what I mean? Absolutely. But with you, well, I just feel I can let my hair down. Uh, you any good at massage? No. Oh, I did a course just a couple of years back. Uh, are you familiar with shiatsu? I mean, I've just done one. Well, it's a finger pressure massage technique that releases toxins from the body. I know that sounds a bit technical, but uh, at the end of the day, all it involves is one person lying face down on the bed while the other one gives him a good book. You think you'll be up for that? Sir. Mademoiselle. Champion. Now, I, I usually have two starters here, because I'm only small. Please listen to me, son. He can't hear you. He's in some sort of trance. Hello. You are not here on your own, are you? Well, not really. I'm visiting my son. Oh, I see. I'm just scouting around for a ping-pong partner. I'm sorry? Well, I'm here with my son, too. But he's very competitive, whereas I just love being knee-deep in chat. Knee-deep in what? Chat. You know, banter. Oh, right. Can I ask you a question? Fire away. As a customer at this hotel, do you think that's right? Do I think what's right? Staff being allowed to dress up like pantomime dames. Do you know who the best dame in the business was? Danny LaRue, a close personal friend of my late husband. Yeah, well, that is my late husband. So how do you think I feel? I don't know how you feel. You certainly sound pretty angry to me. I reckon if what you do makes you happy, and it isn't hurting anyone else, go for it. Well, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could all go through life with rose-tinted spectacles like you? Yeah. Yes, it would. Les. We need to talk. I don't think we have anything to say to each other. If you genuinely care about our son, you'll listen to what I have to say. I'm listening. Not here. Somewhere private. Follow me. Listen, I'm going back. What are you talking about? This is for your benefit. My benefit? How'd you work that out? This is character building. Oh, there you are. What's going on? He's going to walk across burning not coals. Oh, no. Jeff, not with your bunions. Please listen to me, son. He can't hear you. He's in some sort of trance. Get it out! Somebody get it out! Alright, that's it. 
We need some salad, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Tag. No more. Please, I can't take it. Mate, I can literally still see the bus. Please, we need to rest. I'm not an athlete. Oh. Oh. I can't feel my legs. Seriously, I'm not even joking. I can't feel anything in my legs. Ow! All right. I can feel a bit. Come on, mate. What happened to us against Mother Nature? No offence, but Mother Nature's a bitch. Oh, come on. Would Barbecue Grill sit here, mate? Or would he climb the mountain? Oh, my God. There's a barbecue at the top. Now you're talking. <laughs> Hey, thanks for agreeing to wear the uniform, Kenneth. No worries. And thank you for letting me make a few adjustments. What did I say? It's all about compromise. Hiya, Jacqueline. You all right? No. Well, yes. I've got a date tonight with a man. And I need your advice. Oh, Jacqueline, I don't mean to sound rude, but your experience with men is even greater than mine. Who's the lucky fella? Troy, for goodness sake, like we don't know. They were wrestling each other to the ground yesterday round that pool. No, we were not. He just rubbed a bit of suntan cream on my back. Yeah, and in Neptune's he was rubbing the creases of his trousers while he watched you play with your bubble and squeak. I honestly can't remember. What's he look like? He looks a bit like a drunken, sunburnt Santa Claus on holiday. Right, well, better make sure you don't end up on his naughty list, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and make sure he wraps his present before he shoves it down your chimney. <laughs> what? Why aren't you answering your phone? Is everything OK? And I'm sleeping in the place I work. Of course, everything is not OK. Well, steer here loads of times before. You never complained. Yeah, but that is when I'm sleeping with a guest. It is different if you are paying for this rubbish yourself. Well, why don't you get a proper place? With what less? Hmm? My wife, she take everything. She leave me with nothing. Listen, you're shifting half an hour. But I came to tell you, there's a Spanish fella downstairs looking for you. For me? What does he look like? Yeah. Leather waistcoat, slick black hair. Seemed quite aggressive. What did he say? He said he wants to see you, and it's a matter of life and death. Madre mia. What's going on? Come in, Les. I tell you, I think the fan has finally hit on So, you do not know this woman who is wife of Mel Harvey. Her name, Madge. No. As I said, like, people come and go so fast here. <laughs> of course, if we discover you are lying, you will have many problems. Oh, you mean that, Madge Harvey? Sorry, sorry, I thought you meant somebody else. Yes, I used to work for Mrs. Harvey. And where can we find this Mrs. Harvey? She's, uh, she's, uh, she's not here today. Uh, but if you like to leave a message, I'll make sure she gets it. Was it anything urgent? We have good news and bad news for Mrs. Harvey. The good news is, she no longer owes money to Mr. Reg Fiddler of Benidorm Trailer Park. Oh, she'll be over the moon about that. <clears throat> I imagine. The bad news is, our employer, Mr. Pink, has bought her husband's debt. 
So we need to arrange an appointment with her to uh, resolve this rather pressing business matter. Right. So the message is to basically give you a ring, like. The message is this. If she does not ring the number on this card in the next two hours, she will die. <laughs> no, no, seriously, what's the message? <laughs> That is the message, isn't it? Right, you can rely on me, pal. I'll give it to her right now. Well, not right this minute, because I can't do that. She's not here. But I'll make sure she gets me. Have they gone? They've gone. Hey, is there anything I can do to help? You just let me know. No, you're all right, pal. This is a problem for the Garveys now. We deal with these kind of situations our way and on our own terms. We don't need any help from anybody. No worries, I'll stay out here with you. Sorry, I can't borrow your mobile, can I? I haven't got any credits. Of course you can. There you go. Um, thanks. No problem. Right, left, right, left. Yeah, my Nana's always talking about funerals and stuff. She never shuts up about it. I don't think she's scared of dying. I think she's just worried that when she does go, there's so many people left on the planet that she didn't manage to annoy. As my dad always says, life's a b and then you die. <laughs> He's going to be okay, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Thank you. What? Who? Where? Guy? So it's only me. Uh. Don't worry, it's only me. Oh, oh Liam. You came. Of course I came. You texted me four times already, telling me not to be late. All the people in here have been so kind. Is that for me? Yeah. Really? Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I don't want to be a burden to anyone. What's this? Oranges. You're taking the... I've got an R complaint, not friggin' scurvy. But there's grapes in there as well. Where's the Zingerberger and fries asked you for? They're not open yet. The doctor said you're not to get excited. Excited? About what? A bloody fruit salad? I'm wasting away in here and you bring me this bag of shit. And what's this? A lemon? What am I supposed to do with a bloody lemon? Oh, stop this for a game of soldiers. I'll have to join a Joseph for a fry up. Stay there. What stay you there? Stay in bed. Why don't you stay in bed? No! No! no. Get me out of this bed, bed right? Yes. You get right off me, right? Oh, you can't do this to me! Get off me! Oh, 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 oh. Listen. Yeah. Morning, love. Oh, I'm so glad to get off that coach. I've never known such a bumpy ride. Ah! Uh, I'm just finishing these two young men off. Can I put you in the capable hands of my colleague, Matteo? I don't mind who sorts me out. I'm just glad to be in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Your name is Mina Love Allen. Mina Love's my real name, but everyone calls me Queenie. <laughs> OK, Queenie, you have a double room booked for one week. There is just you. Nobody else. Well, for the moment, but hope springs eternal in the human breast. <laughs> what does this mean? I've no idea. Just get a book in. She's frightening the other guests. Okay, Queenie. 
Here is your all-inclusive wristband and your room key. You are on the 11th floor. Please, have a happy holiday. It's a good job I've got a head for highs. <laughs> These stairs, yes? It will be much quicker for you to take the elevator. Oh, no, I never go in elevators. They make me nervous, and I break out into uncontrollable laughter. <laughs> Did you want me to find your room on a lower floor? Oh, no, don't bother yourself. It's all good fun, isn't it? Eleventh <laughs> floor! <laughs> I've never seen Collier's dad, have I? No. Have you? Well, what do you think? I don't know. Can I be Collier's dad? If you like. I'm Coolio's dad. I can't begin to tell you how many things are wrong with that sentence, son. Good morning. Hiya. Hello. Donald and Jacqueline from last year. We haven't really spoken properly since you arrived. Yeah, well, your luck's got to run out at some point. I'm sorry? Yeah, nothing. Are you enjoying your holiday? Well, we were. Yeah, smashing, thanks. Are you off home? No, no, we're going on a trip. Ooh. I wonder if you'd like to come with us. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, we're all right here, thanks. You can have too much culture in one day, can't you? We're going to Alicante to see a bullfight. Oh, Dad, I want to see a bullfight. Please, 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 come and go, please. Oh, come on, misery guts, let's go. Yeah, please, Dad, please. You can forget it. There's five of us, and when Davros and Doctor Who surface, that makes seven. I'm not made of money. It's all free. Right, come on, let's get all our stuff together. Honestly, you're tighter than a fly's ass you are. Right, come on, you take that, I'll get tense. Well, we're going to see Bullfight. Oh, God, I'm excited. Come on, son. Coach leaves in 15 minutes. I want to get changed. I don't think I'm going to bother. You what? Yeah, I think I might just chill out round the pool, do you know what I mean? Well, I thought we were going together. Mum, I'm 37. We don't have to do everything together. Back off. Give me some space. OK. What time will you be back? Well, I've no idea. But you'll be back for tea. Well, I don't know. How long does a bullfight last? It might not finish till late. I'm not having my tea on my own. I thought we didn't have to do everything together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever, cool. I, I might take a walk into Benidorm. All right, see you later. Yeah, might go to a club, get pissed, meet some lasses, whatever. Invite him. I've never seen Collier's dad, have I? No. Have you? Well, what do you think? I don't know. Can I be Collier's dad? If you like. I'm Collier's dad. I can't begin to tell you how many things are wrong with that sentence, son. Come on, tell you ready. I'm not off on a coach trip with a load of old fogies. Old fogies? Are you taking the piss? I'm in my prime. <laughs> it's a bullfight. It'll be exciting. <laughs> are you sure you're going to be all right with baby Coolio? Yeah, just go. Oh, are you going to be a good boy for your grandma? Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. Hiya, Mel. You all right, man? No, I'm not. I've got the runs. Oh, don't spare us any details, will you? We're about to send out a search party. We thought you'd done a runner to Gretna Green. I couldn't run anywhere in this state. One false move and we'll be hosing down this wheelchair till bank holiday Monday. Oh, bloody hell. All right, Mother. 
Where are you all going? We have been invited on a free trip with the ever-fragrant Donald and Jacqueline. Madge knows them, though I'm not sure you'll recognise them with the clothes on. <laughs> Come on! Whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong Whether I find a place in this world or never belong I gotta be me Well, I must say, this is very pleasant. What, the food? No, making friends on holiday. Where's Burke and Air gone? Who? Michael. And the other one. I gave Michael and Tiger ten euros each to spend on the machines. That was very good to hear. Ten euros each? You right in the head. It's the last you'll see of them tonight. They'll be eyes a kite sniffing glue round the bins. Excuse me, Tiger does not sniff glue. All right, calm down. When did you start defending your brother? When she started to disrespect him. Respect? Ha! That's a joke. What do you know about respect? Trotting round the pool with your tits out and your high heels. <laughs> I think it's probably best if you don't judge my son or my daughter by your own very low standards, Madge. And who do you think you're talking to, you face old cow? Do you know? I felt sorry for you when we first met. Married to him with a face like a ruptured ass. But it's him that deserves the sympathy for putting up with you. More drinks? Yes. And we'll have them over there. Come on. That's right. <laughs> off. Sit with your own kind. Animals, the lot of you. I sit. Much more rum. <sighs> It'd be amazing to go shoplifting with. Need a big finish, Donald. Can you hear me? A big finish. <laughs> Hang on. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Well, I must say, I've seen the real Sticky Vicky, and this comes pretty close. Oh my God. <laughs> Taxi's outside there for you. Oh, yeah, thanks, mate. These are our door keys. There might be some missing. I think one or two of them slept in the hallways. I mean, we had quite a heavy night last night. And you forgot to take off your fancy dress makeup? No, we got sold some dodgy pills. We had a pretty wild time, but they, um, well, they turned us orange. I can see this. Oh, and there's also there's quite a lot of damage in most of the rooms, but just, just bill it to my card, OK? What card? Hey, hey, where are you going? You cannot leave. You have to pay for your damage. Hostia! Miss Temple Savage! Miss Temple Savage! Miss Temple Savage! There are guests trying to leave, but they have destroyed their rooms. Miss Temple Savage? Uh, where are my glasses? I'm sorry, I had a bit of a late night last night. <laughs> That were a waste of bloody time, the beach, weren't it? No, actually, Mother, I thought it was a nice walk out. And now I've got a nice cold beer in one hand, a ciggy in the other, and the sun is shining. Please excuse me while I enjoy the last day of my holiday. I see somebody's enjoying himself a bit too much, as usual. Yay! Do you 
just like your father. He couldn't get enough of it either. Dirty b he was. 68 and exposing himself in the cold meat section of Marks and Spencer. I mean, once you can put down to an accident, but not three times in a week. Do you mind? Got terrible wind. Really, I'd never have guessed. Right. Come on, you. You're going in. No! Why not? Because you said there was a monster in the pool. I was only joking. Come on, you two. Get in this pool. It's your last chance. I'm not getting in. There's a monster under the water. Don't be daft. The monster's over there in a wheelchair. Come here. Give me your hand. Whee! <laughs> <sighs> Mother. What have you eaten? Nothing today. Saving myself for my dinner. Oh. oh, have you finished flirting with your fancy woman? Oh, bit of harmless flirting. Makes the world go around. I've seen you chatting to that greasy barman. Yeah, talking to him. He didn't start taking pictures of me. Hmm, there's probably a reason for that. Ooh, bloody hell. Pick the right time to go home, haven't we? Them drains are getting worse. Right, come on, you get out of that. I need to take it back. It doesn't have to be back till tomorrow. I, I had it for the week. Yeah, but we're leaving early and they won't be open in the morning. Come on, let's have you. Hey, hey. Right. We waited all week to have a go on this. Exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. We will destroy you. Doctor, we will destroy you. Exterminate. Well, it's been quite a week. You could say that. Hey, it's OK. It might sound strange, but... In some ways, I'm glad you slept with the barman. What? Let's face it, we were just coasting along. It's been a ruddy kick up the backside for me. I don't understand. Last night you punched him in the face. Yeah, well, that was last night. I had one too many. <sighs> I think we should just chill out, you know? Just chill out. For God's sake, it happens. Okay, don't look so worried. I said it's okay. Martin. Oh. My. God! What is it? What's going on? Someone's done a in the pool. Oh, where's your father? Just splash it out of the way. It's getting closer. Uh, I know, swim underneath it. I'm not putting my head in this water. It's joke poo. I think I'm going to be sick. Can you hear me? I said it's not real. What? It's joke poo. I'm sorry, love, it's my husband's idea of a joke. Just pick it up and throw it over here. Pick it up? It's not real. It's made of plastic. He got it today from the joke shop. Darling, it's made of plastic. Just pick it up and throw it over to me. What's going on? Oh, very funny. You think you're the comedian with your joke shop dog poo? Well, I'm not laughing. But I didn't buy dog poo from the joke shop. I bought farting powder. It's fine. Just, just pick it up and throw it onto the side. Your line of entry's all to cock. I noticed that from over there. You're joking, are you? I'm on the reserve team for eye diving for 2012. 2012? What's that? Your neck and shoe size? No, 2012, the Olympics. I've got a classic swimmer's build eye up. Just out of season, you know, for me training. I've lost me six pack and everything. Lost your six pack? Lost your bloody mind, you mean? You're not trying to tell me you're on a diving team? Your body's meant to be straight when you're into the water. That were a belly flop. Yeah, that's because I haven't got the height. I'm a finely tuned athlete. I, I can't work under amateur conditions. Do you want your inhaler, son? No. Here, watch me. 
What about that thing that stops the water going up your nose? Man, will you sit down? Feel nice and changed? Yeah, do you want him? Oh, come on. Come to your nana. Ooh, ooh. Don't you smell gorgeous now? Make the most of it, it won't last long. He's going to be handsome bugger when he's older, isn't he? Of course he is. Yeah, like grandfather, like son. <laughs> Let's hope he gets your modesty and all. <laughs> Michael, steady on with that burger. Nobody's going to take it off yet. I'm hungry. That fat lad's going to have a coronary if he carries on diving in like that. We'll all have one if we have to look at your fancy man sagging <laughs> so much longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, point of entry, your body should be at right angles to the water. Watch me. Well, I think if you've got an all-over tan, you may as well show it off. Come on, then, Madge, flop them out. Well? <laughs> 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 oh. You're right. No! Oh my God! He's not coming back up. He's not no. coming back up. What's wrong? Well, he went in before. He's just. It's not surface. What's going on? He's not coming up. He went in. What is it? What's wrong? He went into that bloody hole, didn't he? Showing his dive off yo. What were you playing at? You've killed my husband before I've had a chance to marry him! Mel! It's all right, you're all right. Okay. Mel! There's no blood on him. No. Okay. Mel! He's not conscious, Mick, he's not conscious. I think he's banged his head on bottom. Come on, have you got him, love? You've got him. Well done, Mel! Mel! Oh, my God, somebody ring an ambulance! No, I think he'll be all right. It's only his big toe. Not for him, you silly cow. Oh, what's happened to his skin? Is he all right? What's the colour of it? He always looks like that. He's got five sunbed shops in Manchester. Mam, Mam, Michael's chunky. Oh, my God, Michael! Dear God, don't let him die. Don't let him die. <laughs> Mick! Mick! Don't let him die. Mick! What are you now, please? Ah! Oh, God! If your father found out you were doing this, he'd bloody well skin you alive. So, is that a no, then? Of course it's a no. Do we look like the kind of people who take drugs? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Martin, go downstairs, get the shots lined up. I'll be down in turn. Come in, boys. Oh, my God. Listen, Clive, I just wanted to say about last night, you know, it's been a stressful few days for all of us, and I think it's probably best all round if we just... What I mean is, you know, we're all here on holiday, supposed to be enjoying ourselves, so what is the point of... You know, what is the point of... I forgot what I was going to say now. Beer. Absolutely. Well, one of them, pal. Two more, please. Come and rate up. Hello. Can I help you? Are you part of the stag party? 
No, I always dress like this. Oh, right. OK, it, I'll knock on the door. I'm pretty sure the guy in here is the one who's getting married. Excuse so... me, excuse me, yes, I'm part of the stag party. Can I help you? You said you weren't. It was a joke. How can I help you? We were wondering if you're in the market for some shit. Some shit? Yeah. What do you mean, like, for the garden? A garden? Yes, like manure. Manure? What's that? French? Manure, no, it comes out of a horse's bottom. Look, man, we've got most things. We've got leapers, moggies, snappers, dust, dollies, eggs, jellies, dings and turkeys. Just let us know what you want. And if you've got the lettuce, we got the candy. But we ain't got no manure. Hey, it's Pimp Diddy Martin! <laughs> See, you brought your bitches. They aren't my bitches. I think it's Bob a Job Week. Are you ready? Everybody's downstairs waiting. Drugs! He wants to know if you want to buy some drugs. Mikey, for God's sake, man. What's that is? Drugs? You're selling drugs? How old are you? 12? I'm 16. And you? You should know better. If your father found out you were doing this, he'd bloody well skin you alive. So is that a no, then? Of course it's a no. Do we look like the kind of people who take drugs? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Martin, go downstairs, get the shots lined up. I'll be down in turn. Come in, boys. Oh, my God. I didn't see this. Wow. He's blind as well as stupid. Now, come on, boys. Don't be like that. I mean, they're not bad kids. No. They're not. They're not. They're, they're good kids. But what we've got to remember is that we were teenagers, but we weren't teenagers in this day and age. We didn't have the internet. Didn't have the internet. Didn't have computer games. Television. You didn't have television? How old are you? And we didn't have the hundreds of channels they got now. Three channels we had. Aye. There's still twice as much to watch than the shite they've got on 300 channels now. Here, here. <sighs> so... What line of business are you in, then? I was in the tanning stroke sunbed trade, but, uh, well, bottom fell out of it, really. How about you? I'm in construction. Oh. The bottom hasn't fallen out of that. Yeah, I'm sure. It's had a complete prolapse. Seriously? I'm trying to ride it out. Between you and me, things ain't looking good. Mm. Still, you managed to come on holiday. How bad can things be? <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me, can you help me? Yes. There doesn't seem to be any free sunbeds. Do I just one person? Well, I've got a twin sister in witness, if that's what you mean. How many sunbeds do you want? Well, three would be nice. I have both my children with me, although they'll probably be in and out of the pool all day. You know what kids are like. You can't tell people you're a vegetarian if you eat fish. I can tell them I'm an astronaut if the mood takes me. Are oh, you a pescatarian? I haven't had a drink in 18 months. Pescatarian means you eat fish and vegetables. You can't tell people you're a vegetarian when you eat fish! It's strange you keep saying that, as if I'm actually listening. Hey, hey, you are making too much noise. She started it. No, you started it. No, you started it! No, you started it! Hey, this is not a kindergarten for the people of the Middle Ages. Middle Ages? I think he means middle-aged. How dare you? I'm nowhere near middle-aged. Enough. Do not fight like children. You are old. I'm keeping my eyes peeled on you. Honestly, I can't take you to anywhere. Oh, my God! been burgled. Hey. What's wrong? The salon, they've taken everything. I feel violated. Ooh. You've not been burgled. I have. Go look for yourself. I got rid of it all. They've taken the mirrors, they've taken the chairs, they've... You what? 
We're rebranding. You've got rid of all my salon furniture. Well, don't worry, we've got new stuff coming this afternoon. This afternoon? Are you taking the piss? You're in Spain. It takes a fortnight for someone to answer the phone. Rebranding, that's exciting. Well, it would be if I'd been consulted. I'm giving the salon a new lease of life. Blow and go does not need a new lease of life. That's another thing. We need a new name. What? Never. You can change my mirrors, but you'll never change my name. I like Blow and Go. It's what we used to call the meet and greet at the Middlesbrough Swingers Association. I'm paying the rent now, Kenneth. I think I should have a say in it. Oh, here we go. That's what all this boils down to. The dirty dollar. Or, as an alternative, you pay the rent. The electricity, the water, the rates, the wholesaler's bill. And we'll stick with Blow and Go. I'm not happy about this! Could have fooled me. We shouldn't be staying here at all. We paid for the hotel in Altea. They made the double booking. It's their fault. We're here. Any real man would have told them that. Do you really think I want to be here? Watching the man you had an affair with strutting around like a peacock? It wasn't an affair. I am not changing his name. But what sort of a name is Coolio for a little lad? It's his name. You stick to your guns, Tal. Thanks, Dad. I think you should call the next one Doddy, after Ken Dodd. Don't be stupid. Well, you friggin' started it. I mean, Anna said she wanted you to call him after her, Dad. Hey, we are not calling him Adolf. <laughs> I hope my mum's all right. They should be down by now. She looked terrified last night. I know. Wasn't the most convincing acceptance of a marriage proposal I've ever seen. I think when he picked her up and carried her out the bar, it was supposed to be like an officer and a gentleman. More like invasion of the body snatchers. It spoilt it a bit when they had to come back for a wheelchair. Are my mum and granddad married now? No, they aren't. And he's not your granddad. Not yet. Martin, can you try again? They can't still be engaged. They said they'd let us know when a room became available. I double-checked they had our number. Oh, it's switched off. We shouldn't be staying here at all. We paid for the hotel in Altea. They made the double booking. It's their fault. We're here. Any real man would have told them that. Do you really think I want to be here? Watching the man you had an affair with strutting around like a peacock? It wasn't an affair. It was a moment of madness. Yes, well, I'm pretty bloody mad myself right now. Well, then I suggest you get on the phone and get us out of here. Oh, it's a shame I don't really tan. My mother was the same, white as a sheet she was. Your granddad didn't let her answer the door on Halloween because she used to frighten the kiddies. I'm, I'm trying to get these finished. How many are you going to have to do? I don't know, 30, 40. You'll get right as cramp. Our Pauline said she had that. That's why she didn't write to me when they were in South Africa. Oh, was that writer's block? No, I think that's the one Geoffrey Archer had when he were in prison. Or was it that he didn't get writer's block in prison after thinking he might? I can't remember which magazine it were in. Mum, you're frying me brain. Oh, your father used to eat brains. I'm going to give these out. Lamb's brains. They were fried as well. <laughs> Miss Big Donna. Oh, any news? You and Jacqueline greatly missed last night. A session with the MSA, Middlesbrough Swingers Association, was a resounding success. New members, Edith and Eddie Gibson, are very much into anal. Mm -hmm. So that's two more for our September bottoms up evening. Oh, smashing. Good news, Alan's glasses turned up in the Nardini's hot tub. Bad news, Keith Bartlett's homemade lubricant has stripped the leather off my three-seater. Oh, dear. Another screaming orgasm? Oh, yes. Want to 
Miss Tell gonna have a baby, Dad? I don't know, son. Why didn't she tell us she was gonna have a baby? I don't know. Will the baby be black or white? I don't know, son. He only black if your dad was black. Not necessarily. Look at your nana. I don't know what your cracking joke's for, your 16-year-old daughter lying pregnant in the next room. Is Tell gonna have a baby while we're here in Spain, Dad? I wouldn't put it past her, anything to ruin my holiday. Oh, yeah, quite an elaborate ploy to ruin your holiday, Madge, her getting pregnant. Hmm, fair amount of planning involved. She'll be crippled if it's a girl. Always big in our family, the girls. Twelve pound exactly, my Johnny's was. Olga, the year before, were ten pound eight. <laughs> Oh, she'll never cope with that lass her age. No, she'll never walk again if it's a girl. Oh, well, as long as we're not overreacting. Uh, I, w I was watching that. What are we doing here, Martin? We're here to spend some time together. Sort things out. Then you thought bringing us here would help to sort things out. You must be out of your mind. Don't be like that. Just look at the sun. Let's enjoy it. You enjoy it, Martin. I'm booking on the first available flight home. <laughs> Breakfast finishes in ten minutes. One unnecessary move and I'll project our vomit in such a way as to make Linda Blair look like an amateur. I never saw that and give us a clue. Linda Blair, not Lionel Blair. Uh, you can put that out. You what? Not even my unborn grandchild breathing that in. Oh, don't talk rubbish. I've smoked 40 a day since 1953 and given birth to seven healthy daughters. Yeah, six of which wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. By Christ, McDowell, you know how to twist the knife in a mother's back. Mother? What kind of mother have you been? Is only Janice still talks to you? I brought my kids up the best way I could. It's up to them if they don't want to speak to me. They don't want to speak to you because you're an evil cow. I'm their mother. I carried every one of them for nine months. A mother deserves respect for that, at least. You're right, Tell. What's the smell in here? <laughs> She's still not out of wash. She reeks. Tell, go and sit down. I'll get you a drink. You can pack that in, mother. I'm sorry, I haven't had a shave cut, and I've just been smoking a rolly, so it mightn't taste that great, but it will save your life. OK, here goes. <gasps> I've been all right. Jess? Do you need a hand? No. Are you going to be doing any DIY? Because, strictly speaking, that should be my responsibility. I am sitting here as lifeguard. You're a lifeguard? Yes. To make people feel safe. Cool. Do you think I could have a go? I did that thing at school where you had to swim underwater and pick up a rubber brick in your pyjamas, but I didn't get my certificate because I got caught peeing in the pool. How could they tell? Or standing on the diving board. Liam. Go away. Thank you. Aye, aye. Spanish chorizo at two o'clock. It's quite greasy, that, isn't it? Doesn't bother me. You sure you can have that on the Atkins? Oh, yeah. Three portions a day. And you wouldn't have a vegetable with it? Nah. You'd have to watch. What? Oh, you're not still lusting after him, are you? 
told you he's married with kids. Have you never heard of a holiday romance? He's not on holiday, is he? No, but I am. And I intend to get a bit of mouth-to-mouth -mouth off Mr. Hazemoff over there. Well, I'm just advising you against it, Trudy, that's all. Thanks. But if I'd wanted a conscience, I'd have come on holiday with Jiminy Cricket. OK, fine, it's no skin off my minge. But if he had been interested in you, he'd have tried it on by now. Oh, yeah? Here, a staff announcement. Mateo is suddenly drowning in the pool! What? Help! Oh, Help! 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 my ladder, please. Help! 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 friend's drowning. Oh, dear, what a shame. Why aren't you going to dive in and help her? Just put a load of fake tan on. But well, I would... I left my pyjamas at home. Help! Not the glasses. Help! I made you safe. Come on, help. Oh, come on, help us. We need to keep her alive till she gets in the ambulance. Mateo, do your CPR. This is no time to make impressions. The, the quick. I don't know what to do. I think you're meant to straddle her. Oh, I don't think that's right, is it? Oh, she's saying yes. Look, she's saying yes. Unbelievable. Right, give her the kiss of life. I don't know what this is. What is it? Right, lean her head back, open her mouth and breathe. Wait! Wait! I'm sorry, I haven't had a shave, but, and I've just been smoking a rolly, so it mightn't taste that great, but it will save your life. OK? Here goes. Hi, yeah. Look what I got. A bottle of that liqueur and some marmalade made out of the same stuff. What have you bought that for? What have you got marmalade for? You know I'm not eating sweet stuff. You're not going to get any fatter from a bit of marmalade. What do you mean, fatter? No, I don't think so. Aw, they seem dead nice. Yeah, well, they're certainly very enthusiastic. Have you found some trunks, then? Oh, no, these are my pants. Uh, I'm afraid I'll have to go commando on the journey back. Where's that? No, go commando. It means to, to not wear any underwear. Oh, right. Why don't you go commando now? What, here? No, no, I, I don't think that's appropriate. Come on. I promise I won't look under the water. It'll really turn me on. No, I think what with the kiddies in the pool... Are... Beg your pardon? Come on, Martin. We came here as friends, but there's no denying. There's a spark between us. There is? I mean, I mean, there is. I mean, I, I, I thought there, there might be. Martin. Yes? Get down in the water and slowly pull down your pants. People are looking. Now give them to me and swim under the waterfall. I'll put these out to dry and I'll meet you back there in two minutes. Brandy, I, I... Two
Excuse me. That lady I was talking to earlier, did you see where she went? Yeah, she got out. Right. Did she say where she was going? No, but she took your clothes. Oh, God. <laughs> Brandy, where are you? Hiya. Look what I got. A bottle of that liqueur and some marmalade made out of the same stuff. What have you bought that for? What have you got marmalade for? You know I'm not eating sweet stuff. You're not going to get any fatter from a bit of marmalade. What do you mean, fatter? I don't mean fatter, I mean... What? Fatter than I already am. <laughs> You're not fat! Everybody puts a bit of weight on on holiday. <gasps> you are? What have I said now? What have you said? You're nothing but an animal. Why I ever let an insensitive pig like you marry my daughter, I'll never know. I never asked to marry her. I beg your pardon? No. No. I don't mean I didn't want to marry her. I mean... I... Come here, Mum. Don't upset yourself. What are you getting upset for? First you call your wife Fatty, then you say you wish you'd never married her and you're asking why she's upset. Who said Fatty? You're twisting me words. Janice, love, come here. Come here, Mum. I'm all right. Janice! Just hey. go away. What are you... Oh, my God, you're not crying. No, I'm not crying. I just want you to go away. Janice. Janice. Oh, for Christ's sake. Thanks. It's OK. I'm all right, I'm all right. I don't know why I let him get to me. Hey, where's our Michael? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to borrow your son for a bit. Over there's got his wife chained to a pile of sunbeds. Doesn't surprise me. They're well known for it. What do you mean? Perverts. She'll be naked hanging upside down from the pool bar come five o'clock. Dear God. I tell him to stop, but he will not listen. Ooh. Look. Do this here. Look, whatever you do in the privacy of your own room is nobody's business but your own. But you can't do this here. But that's just it. We don't have a room, thanks to you reneging on your word. If this is a protest, then why are you both not chained to the sunbeds? We didn't have quite enough chain. Anyway, somebody has to be able to nip to the shops for water and such like. I'm afraid personal food and drink cannot be consumed on the premises. Fine, then you've just turned a peaceful demonstration into a hunger strike. For God's sake! <laughs> Jacqueline, I'm just going to pop up to the Mad Monk for a spot of brunch. Will you be OK? Oh, yeah. All right, stop it. Mateo, give Mr and Mrs Stewart room 212. Come on. What's wrong with you? I've just said you could have a room. Mr. Stewart, kindly unchain your wife from my sunbeds. I can't. What do you mean, you can't? I'm afraid I didn't expect you to cave in so easily. And I... I swallowed the key. Judith, what? Why did you do this, you crazy man? What is wrong with you people? I'll be back in about an hour. I do believe the Mad Monk do a very acceptable veg curry. Fingers crossed. Are you OK? Oh, yes. That man over there's got his wife chained to a pile of sunbeds. Doesn't surprise me. They're well known for it. What do you mean? Perverts. She'll be naked hanging upside down from the pool bar come five o'clock. Dear God. We met them upstairs. They certainly seem the type. 
apparently last year. One of them was found roaming the streets at midday, dressed as a naughty nurse in stockings and suspenders. That's not appropriate. Not during the day. No, and it wasn't the one chained to the sunbeds either. Oh. You haven't seen my husband or my son at all, have you? Eh? Not bad. Time for another drink, I think. No, I better get the school back to me now. She's gonna go on mental. Now, wait a minute. Didn't I just batter the price down to 35 euros for the week for this thing? Batter the price. You nearly battered the block. Oh, a bit of gentle persuasion never hurts. And the false ID that I gave him means you could sell it at the end of the week. Win win. Come on, bruv. You're round. I am baby. He's grand. I watched him grow. They didn't much more than I ever know. And I think she must see what a wonderful world. Yeah, yeah, I think to myself What a wonderful Is it all going? Yeah, really good. Not all free sangria, is it? No, we're checking about 200 euros. Not bad for the first couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, look, can I get to the bar? You got your wristband? No. Of course you can, darling. <laughs> darling, me. Are you doing well, lad? You keep that up, you might get a regular gig. Thanks, Madge. There you go. What have I told you about that raspberry? You won't enjoy a holiday if you're constantly fretting about stuff. It's over. What? He didn't show up at court. What does that mean? It means I get everything. My money, my investment in all the property, everything. I get my life back. Oh, lovely. Hey, if you're quidsing, you know what that means? What? We can afford to come back here together again next year. How are you doing? I miss him. Mm. Yeah, I know you do. Do you think Gavin and Troy will come over? No. I think they might be having an early night. Oh, will you be going home now, then? I mean, you were using Troy's place on the holiday, weren't you? Yeah, no, I wanted to stay, but someone's got to go back and take care of their business. I'll definitely be back, though. I think I've caught the Benidorm bug. <laughs> oh, Donald had that last year. You need to get some lotion from the chemist. It'll clear up in 48 hours. Do you think he'll be all right? Who? The tail. Uh. I think you're mistaking me for someone who gives a yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, all right. You liked him, didn't you? Not really. It's a bad boy thing, isn't it? I mean, who wants a wet, boring, spineless, predictable mummy's boy? Oh, yeah. I thought it was you. I saw all your hair and I saw your face and I thought, I bet that's them. I thought you were going home today. No, staying here. In Spain, with me dad. Do you want to come out with us tonight? 
Yeah. Why not? We've both given up on men, so we may as well come out for the laugh. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on yourself. We're going up to one of them tranny bars in the old town. I think you'll do really well. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your attention, please? Your attention, please. Thank you. I'd like to say a few words, Janice. I want to thank everybody for your support in this new business venture, although it's not just that. It's a new way of life. When I first moved to Spain with my husband, Mel, we had a dream, a dream we'd live happily ever after. And we got close. We got so close. I miss my husband more with each passing day. We had our good times and our not so good times. But as I stand here, in front of this tiny run-down bar, I know just how proud he would have been that I've done it all on my own. Janice Mick Michael. I know sometimes you think I take you all for granted, and I suppose I do from time to time. But I need you all to know one thing. I love you. And seeing you standing here beside me as I enter this new chapter in my life, I'm well aware of just how much you must love me. So, please, raise your glasses and toast my wonderful family. And the finest man I ever knew, my husband, my soulmate, my Mel. Mel! Why would you do if I say out of tune? Sure, the main thing is to get the photo exactly like this one. OK, no problem. So where are you going? Oh, I'll not tell you. I booked in for an operation. Operation? Corrective surgery. Really? Well, hey there. Well, hey there yourself. What can I get you? I like one tequila sunrise. So don't you think you're a bit young for tequila? Oh, it ain't for me. I want to surprise my granddaddy with it. Over there. Excuse me, my dear. When you have a moment, you pop a small, large vodka in there, will you? No ice. Well, excuse me, you might have noticed there's a line. Oh, so sorry, madam. Please, after you. I'm sorry, darling, but I can't serve you. You're just too itty-bitty small for alcohol. Beg your pardon? Yeah, I'll serve you in just one second. I'm not talking about my drink. I refer to your appalling, bare-faced racism. Racism? A diminutive American cousin, maybe a dwarf, but that doesn't exclude her from enjoying her holiday. I ain't no dwarf. Sorry. Of course. Midget. Tell me, did you have many relatives in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? I ain't no dwarf or no midget. I'm just a little person. Exactly. You're a person. And I will not stand by and have you discriminated against by Miss Tits and Teeth 1993 here. You do realise she's not actually a... No, young lady. It is you who doesn't realise. Now, two very small, large vodka and pineapples, or I'll have your badge. I'm Pauline, by the way. Charm. I'm Jodie. So nice to meet a kindred spirit. I don't know if you've noticed, but there is quite an odd element in the local clientele. Stupid as a stupid does. Exactly. <laughs> I couldn't have put it better myself. By the way, you're going to need to exchange your wristbands for an ID card in reception, if that's OK. Oh, quit your jibber-jabber. To coin an old Chaucerian saying, Lady, you're really beginning to get on my tits. Please. Please, take a seat. Tell me, from which part of the New World do you hail? Sure, the main thing is 
to get the photo exactly like this one. OK, no problem. So where are you going? Oh, I'll not tell you. I booked in for an operation. Operation? Corrective surgery. Really? Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to get it done. I can't go on like this. Does Liam know you are doing this? He was the one that suggested it. Madre mia. And you will be away for a long time. No, oh, you're running out these days, Paul. I'll be back in a couple of hours. How can this be? They'll use a laser. A laser? Aye, the quick, painless. Whoa. Just like that, and your life changes forever. Exactly. 1,500 euros, and I'll be seeing things clearly for the first time in years. So, I'm all right to get off in? Of course. Anything you need. I am here for you. Oh, thanks, pal. You're a mate. <laughs> Goodbye, Les. And tonight you will be Leslie, Jess. I reckon so. And I will love you just as much, brother. I mean, sister. Aye, champion. I'll see you later. Excuse me, miss. Miss? Great party last night. Oh, it's been ages since I had a good boogie. Yes, your naked conga was certainly an icebreaker. The human centipede works every time. Well, it's a shame the Costa Blanca citizen doesn't share your enthusiasm. Oh, dear. Under the new management of Joyce Thimble Savage, I ask you, the Solana is fast developing a reputation as the faulty towers of the Costa Blanca. Injured guests, broken rooms, and sordid pool parties are showing Benidorm in the worst possible light. Well, we've been coming for over 20 years, and we've always been fully satisfied, haven't we, darling? Oh, yes. At least once a day. This is a disaster. One more foul up, I could lose my job. Well, if there's anything we can do to... Release the pressure a little. Just let us know. It's Mr. and Mrs. Stewart, isn't it? Donald and Jacqueline, please. Can I rely on your discretion? Absolutely. We never kiss and tell. Would you mind coming to my personal quarters after breakfast? I've got something in mind that I'd, I'd quite like to try out. I think we'd find that most agreeable. Uh, we did have you pegged as someone who was curious. <laughs> I'm more than curious. Make sure you're not followed. Walls have ears. See? I told you she was one of us. And that last is worthy of the name all-inclusive. I think I'm gonna vom. Oh. oh, I had a visit from the beer badger last night. You know, the one that nicks all your money and then craps it in your mouth. God, I feel rough. Ugh. What the hell happened last night? I remember snogging Liam and then jumping in pool. What time do we get to bed? About half past two. Jesus! Morning, lover. You got any mouthwash? That sounded intense. What did you hear? Nothing. I just mean your tone of voice, your body language. To keep your eyes off my body. All right, pal, none of my beeswax. But remember, a problem shared is a problem halved. What do you mean? I'm just saying, if you let me in, maybe I can halve your problem. You have my problem? No, no, I halve your problem. Why do you want to have my problem? You have enough problems of your own. I know, it's just... Have you never heard the phrase, a shoulder to cry on? No. Well, it just means I can help you. I can give you sucker. Uh, hey, what is this? No sexy in the workplace. No, 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 man. I don't mean... I just mean, if you just open up oh, to me... Oh, that's enough. Excuse me. I can help you, man. No. But I can't. Hey. Oh, shove it up your... Ay, ay, ay. Women's leche. Yeah, she is. But I'm working with me. Who can blame him? Hmm. What 
up your putt in that. Tot of brandy. Steady your nerves. There's nothing wrong with my nerves. I just haven't slept. Well, don't you worry. The claim has been put in. What claim? Claim for all the stuff we had nicked. We didn't have anything nicked. You've had a blackout, haven't you? A lot of victims of crime have that. It's all part of being in shock. When you see the list I've made out of all the things we had stolen, it'll all come flooding back to you. What list? How have you made a list when we've had nothing taken? People can't pinch what we haven't shut got. Up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Are you McGarvey? I am he. I have your insurance claim for me. Oh, yeah? Is there uh, a problem? No, no problem at all. I just thought I'd let you know that we're entering it for the 2009 Booker Prize for Fiction. What are you talking about? I'm a victim of crime. Please state items you wish to claim for. Two cameras, two watches, one gold, one silver, three iPods, two mobile phones and a laptop computer. Oh, my God. Did you forget to put down a speedboat, your set of darts and your bendy bullies? Look, you might go on holiday with a spare pair of knickers and a packet of Johnny's, but some of us do have actual possessions to take with us. Give us it here. What are you doing? Thank you. What did you do that for? If your brains were dynamite, you couldn't blow your hat off. Oh, you poor thing. I hope you gave him a thump back. Well, it all happened so quickly. I didn't really have time to think. And is that when they tied you to the hot water pipe? Yeah. That's how they found that Terry Wogan, wasn't it? Kidnapped and chained to a radiator for five years. Terry, wait. Is that what they said to him? Sarcastic buggers. It's not like it was going to go anywhere. I can't believe one of them was that girl who was with Martin. You don't think he had anything to do with it, do you? No. Did you not see him last night? She cleaned him out, apparently. Took his money, passport, the lot. But she had an accomplice. The one who roughed you up, wasn't it? Did you give the police a good description of him? Yeah, bloke in his 50s, lived in face, long, shaggy, sort of 70s hair, a Hawaiian shirt. How bizarre. That sounds just like the chap who took our mobile phones to fix them. Oh, yeah, we should keep an eye out for him today. Oh, dear. I suddenly feel very stupid. Suddenly? I can't believe you can't just loan me some money so I can at least get to Alicante and get another passport issued. I've had everything taken. We haven't got any money to lend you. You should think yourself lucky you're not getting lynched. It was your girlfriend that robbed everyone. She wasn't my girlfriend, she was just a friend. Some bloody friend. Want a beer? Um, depends on your strongest dagger. And one for the boy as well. Sorry. Excuse me. How are you, Janice? Great. Really good, thanks. On holiday with my family, my husband and my family. Oh, listen, am I upsetting you? No, you're not upsetting me. I... Johnny, the last time I saw you, I was a girl. A 17-year-old girl. You know, it's just weird seeing you after all this time. All of a sudden, I'm back there. It's 1984. 1984, and... It's the end of the summer, and I ask you to marry me, and you say no, and you break my heart. Well, we've both had long enough to get over it. Well, I'd uh, better get off. Uh, back to work. Back to the UK tomorrow. Uh, how, how's your mum? What a strange thing to ask. You never met her. I know, but I, I knew all about her. This is probably why I never met her. <laughs> my mother's in her 70s. I just wanted to come home, but she's determined to stay out here. 
says she wants to run another business out here. She said, that Bruce Forsyth is still working. He's in his 90s. I told her, no, he can't be. He's still got all his own hair. Sorry, I'm waffling. Why did you say no, Janice? Because I'm sure he's nowhere near 90. We saw him on the telly the other week. He sang Mr Bojangles and did the splits at the end. Why did you say no when I asked you to marry me? What? You think if I'd said yes, we'd still be living happily ever after? Went to the cinema on my own. What? The last time we were supposed to meet, you know, when you didn't turn up. Against all odds. Quite apt, really. Johnny. Made your back, Phil. You were going to say something? Take care of yourself. Wait your turn. Shh! I saw you earlier on. Did you? Yes. You were making eyes at that girl. She's through there, isn't she? I, I don't think she, um... Don't think she what? Come on, spread it out. I don't think she likes me. No, b****! <laughs> you want a beer? Um... Two pints of your strongest dagger. And one for the boy as well. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm? Let me give you some advice, Sonny. What you have to do is just go in there and lay your cards on the table. None of this playing hard to get at being cool. A woman likes to know where she stands. Flattery, that's what you need. That's been nice to someone, isn't it? Oh. Mm. <clears throat> Don't be nice. Nice doesn't come anywhere close. You're dealing with women here. You've got to make her feel as though she's the most beautiful creature we have had Drew play. Tell her. We like to be treated like ladies. Made to feel special. Hmm. Try it. You'll be surprised at the results. <laughs> what are you both doing in here? Well, I'm riding a bike and she's baking a cake. Mm. Janice, he knows what I mean. Tell him. Tell him what? I don't know what you're on about. Bookie Roo. No, thanks, but I'll have a game of underwater twister if you go first. <laughs> Mr Roo said to meet him in reception at 11 o'clock. It's only half ten. Oh, come on. Put on a pair of long trousers and get a shave. Uh, do you mind? That's my wife you're talking to. Just calm down, Mother. He can come up here and talk to us. You're going to show me up. I knew you would. This man's come all the way from America. So walking here from reception won't seem that long a journey. Leave him a message to meet us here. I will. And when he tells us all about this inheritance, you lot can go whistle for it. There is no inheritance. When will you listen? It's all a scam. How can it be a scam? You met him for yourself last night. He's a top American lawyer. I met him for 30 seconds. He could be a Dutchman from Wigan. He's got an American accent. Yeah, so did my Uncle Wally. He also kept ferrets down his trousers and used to bark at traffic. Hey! Hang on! I've said nothing, Mother! Uh, oh, why'd you have to wind her up? What else is there to do? Hmm? It's not actually a smoking room and there's no balcony, but if you just hang your head out the window and make sure that your tab ends don't fall in the pool, everything will be hunky dory. <laughs> Uh, Leslie, this booking for two nights, Mr. Buck A. Roo, he arrived late last night. You didn't check him in, did you? No. Why? <laughs> you don't think there's something slightly odd? How do you mean? What's the name? Mr. Buck A. Roo. Buckaroo. 
What sort of name is that? Well, it is unusual, but I've got an Irish auntie and she's called Patty O'Doors. <laughs> I mean, it's just a look at the draw, isn't it? I look on the notes. We'll not be staying second night. Room is to freshen up only. No, that is strange. Why pay for an extra night when you can just have a lick and a promise in the box? Well, I wasn't going to put it quite like that, but yes, exactly. Uh, excuse me, can I get a replacement key for room 601, please? No problem. Do something about your hair. Oh. Cheeky cow. There's nothing wrong with my hair, young one, is there? Yeah, it's better than mine, mate. I'm getting a very strong sense of a woman in a past life with the letter B. Sue, so, how many times have I told you I'm not into all that stuff? A very tall, overpowering woman with, with big hair and a cleavage that could stop traffic. No. Oh, she's trying so hard to come through. She's saying, it's time for you to sort out those photos in, in that shoebox covered in wallpaper. I don't know any tall, dead women with big hair and even bigger cleavage, and I don't have any photos in a shoebox. Now, what do you think of them nails? Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> Can I pay at the end of the week? As usual. <laughs> now, think about what I said. It might come to you. The great psychic Sue is never wrong. Thanks, Sue. See you at the end of the week. <laughs> See you, Kevin. See you, love. Oh. Honestly, can you believe some people are actually taken in by that rubbish? That woman she was describing. It's me mother, Brenda. The letter B. Oh, it's probably just a lucky guess. And what about the photos? Well, that's even easier. She was sitting there watching you, looking at your photos. Oh, yeah. How do you explain this, then? Come on. Oops. Hey, 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 hey! Oh. 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 How is this? Ow! Oh. No. No, 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 no. He'll be down when he's hungry. Well, thank you for that inspired insight into the working mind of a teenage boy. What are you having a go at me for? It wasn't me that was supposed to be keeping an eye on him when he went off the rails. It was that Northern family's kid. Dirty plebs. You know he got a tattoo last night. Who? Tiger? No. What's her name, son? Janice. Yes. Your friend, Janice. Oh, will you just drop it? The woman needed a lift to the airport, so I gave her one. In your dreams. A lift to the airport, for God's sake! This place is absolutely crawling. No, it's not. It's fine. You are one cheap b****. You know that, don't you? Tonya. Yesterday you agreed there was no way this was a four-star and we were moving. Then suddenly, when that manageress knocked 80% off the bill, oh, all of a sudden it's not that bad. And the fact that a member of staff set fire to our towels is a mere inconvenience. Tonya! The day you get off your lazy ass and decide to contribute to the income of this family, instead of picking your life away on coffee mornings and Botox parties, then I'd be more than happy to give you a say in matters of finance. Morning. Oh, tiger! Mummy's little bubba. Mum, mm -hmm. for God's sake. Oh. <laughs> is this mine? Of course it is, darling. Now, what can Mum get you? Nothing. I only came down because it was too noisy to sleep up there. Oh, the couple in the room next door are really going for it. All right, spare us the details, will ya? I did. Good morning. Another day in paradise. Oh, uh, have you settled in, OK? Yes, thank you. I do believe we're neighbours. We heard you arguing last night. Quite a humdinger. Yeah, well, no, um... No, no explanations necessary. First time we came to Spain, Jacqueline threw a chest of drawers at me, didn't you? More a vanity unit. Yeah. It's the heat, you see. Don't worry, you'll soon acclimatise. And don't forget to give us a couple of bangs on the wall if we make too much noise. 
we can get a bit uh, lost in the moment, can't we? Oh, yes. The word tantric springs to mind. <laughs> With us, it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. Hasta <laughs> luego. I think I'm going to vomit. These references are all well and good, Mr um, Gallagher. Please, call me Jason. Please but as I Jason. told you before, your little outburst behind the bar, we simply have no vacancies. You see? We have no vacancies. Simples. Just take your squash face and your magic powder somewhere else. Thank you, goodbye, have a nice life. You're an all-inclusive. The only way for you to increase profits is to make your customers drink less alcohol. Look, let me work here for one week, for nothing, and then check your stock. I guarantee you'll have used half the alcohol, which means double your profits. Why would you want to work here for a week for nothing? Because I'm desperate for a job. I thought that part was obvious. Miss Temple Savage, if you want me to make fancy cocktails and shake my ass like this one, I can do for you. No offence, mate. I wouldn't shake too hard. Something might fall off. What? What's the saying? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Old dog? OK, that's enough. Come outside with me now, and I will kill you. Come on. Oops. Hey, 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 hey! Oh. <sighs> oh. <sighs> How is this? <clears throat> Ow! Oh. Oh. Get up! Not there. I am just into the hairdresser. Oh. Oh. I need to. Stop! Stop it! Could you say stop it, boys? Stay, both of you. You're all hot and sweaty and half naked. Mateo, get back to work. And Jason, you're on a week's trial behind the bar with no pay and no guarantee of a job at the end of it. <sighs> I won't let you down. I'll be everything you want me to be. And more. Oh. Oh, I think I'm having a hot flash. What's going on? Have you seen Madge? Yes, she's sterilised, Doctor. Kenneth, what a lovely surprise. Mick, Janice. What the hell's going on? Stop, is there? Are you sure that's the same car? Yeah. Bloody rubbish. We could have walked faster. What are you doing, seeing if it's still warm? No, I was just wondering if this shade of silver goes with my colouring. This is definitely the car. Oh, there's still no answer. Maybe she's all right. I mean, she didn't exactly look terrified when we saw her. Mm, you have to watch these Arabs, you know. I once did a week in Sharm El Sheikh and they're all please and thank you as you're getting into the taxi. Then you get to the other end and the fares triple what they asked for and you have to nosh them off into the bargain. Oh, anybody else hungry? <coughs> Shh. <coughs> Mick! <coughs> Oh my God, Jacqueline, are you all right? What are you doing here? What's going on? Have you seen Madge? Yes, she's sterilised, Doctor. Kenneth, what a lovely surprise. Mick, Janice... What the hell's going on? Perhaps we should step outside. Come on, Michael, out. Out! So what? Are you involved in all this organ transplant stuff? Organ transplant? No, no, no. This is all very consenting. So, what were you doing in there? Just a bit of role-play. We were supposed to join a session this evening, but we couldn't find an astronaut costume to fit Jacqueline. Did you say you were looking for Madge? Last time we saw her, she was, um... Nanny! Oh, Mother, thank God you're all right. Yes, I'm all right. I've been wanting to sit. We thought you'd been kidnapped. Kidnapped? What the frig are you talking about? Oh, it don't matter, as long as you're safe. But I saw that fella drag you into the car. Oh. There he is. Madge? Is everything all right? Everybody. I'd like you to meet Mohammed. Is 
Is everything all right? Yes, yes. A bit of a heavy afternoon. My wife's lost most of the feeling in her legs, but we're hoping she'll be all right by this evening. I hope the accident didn't occur on Solana premises. Oh, don't worry, there was no accident. Just overdid it slightly, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Yes, I see. Well, plenty of time to relax now. No, no, we've got another session lined up for this evening. Session? Yeah. All credit to this wee gizmo here. Are you familiar with Swing Finder? Swing Finder? Oh, yes, the must-have app for the modern-day swinger. Oh, no, it's not another one, is it? Uh, no, it's just confirmation of tonight's session. Oh, I say, they're sending a car for us. Now, that's stylish. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, I'm sure there's room for another if you're at a loose end this evening. <laughs> Then what you doing, man? <laughs> oh, what have you let out the cage for? He's got this way of looking at you. Ah! It's OK, Meryl. It's OK. Be very quiet, very still. When he does not expect it, I will pounce. One, two, three. He's going back. He's going back the legs, the legs, no. Oh, oh, the top. The legs. You do it, you do it. You do it. Please, Kenneth, don't make fun of me. Don't worry, Matteo. We all have needs. Four sugars. Lovely. Wow, this is a treat. Jacqueline, I'm afraid I've had a change of heart. Oh, you want me to pay for the coffees? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean about the, um... Wife swap. Oh, right. I don't suppose that's such a huge surprise. Well, when you got up to the room last night, barricaded your door with the wardrobe and shouted, come anywhere near me and I'll call the police, I did have my suspicions. I'm sorry. Those two lager shandies hit me hard. See, it's not that you're unattractive. That's got nothing to do with it. It's just that, well, Rhiannon and I had been going through a bit of a bad patch and being very open-minded people, as you know, we're both naturists. We just thought... So well, you're not swingers? No, not at all. Oh, dear. And that's not all. I got a message from Rhiannon this morning. Having a fabulous time. Donald is amazing. See you in a few days. Riri. Well, just ring her and say you don't feel the same. No, don't you see? This is what she wants. She doesn't want me. She'd rather have some huge, overweight, red-faced buffoon bearing down in a... non taken What have I done? What have I done to her? What have I done? What have I done? Now, remember, Betty, don't stand up till I've turned this off and removed the hood. When your air caught fire last time, it was a waste of a perfectly good pint of lager. You are right, love? Kenneth. I need to speak to you. I'm glad that you've turned up. I've just sent Liam off to find Leslie. Apparently, she's dug up some dirt on Temple Savage. Oh, but I need to speak to you in private. Do you mean in private? We're on the same boat. No, you don't understand. I have a pro... Shall we go somewhere a bit more private? Oh, don't worry about Betty. She can't hear a thing under that dryer. What about Temple Savage? She's just across the hall. Ooh. Hang on. Hello? Shop? I think you might be needed. Oh. Is there anybody about? Well, fancy seeing you here. Please, Kenneth, don't make fun of me. Don't worry, Matteo. We all have needs. So, the woman who usually does you, when did she leave town? Uh, three weeks ago. 
I can sort out getting touched up myself, but it gets to a point where I need the full head. Well, lie back and think of a Spaniard. I think we should go for Midnight Dream. I think dyeing your hair double jet black might make people think you're sponsored by Magic Marker. So, going anywhere nice for your holidays? Ty? Yeah, mate? You know when we came to Spain? Yeah. And you told me to change my watch by one hour? Yeah. We'll just do that once, yeah? Not every day. Just once, mate. Cool. And as you're next on the reserve list, we are delighted to offer Georgie Dawson a place on the full-time performing arts course starting October the 5th. Georgie, they've offered you a place! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, amazing! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What did he mean, reserve list? Do you mean they didn't want her at first? Well done, my beautiful princess. Jodie, high five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody needs to give her a slap. She's hysterical. I'll give you a slap in a minute. I got in, I got hey, in. what is going on here? Calm down, Jodie, calm down. I got in. I got into stage school. You did, darling. You did get in because you're the best. Well, not quite the best. On the reserve list after one of the actual best dropped out. If you don't shut up, God help me, I'm going to smash your face in. Hey, hey, hey. There will be no smashing of faces and no screamers. This is the hotel, not the bin of loonies. Sorry, pal. She's got to be carried away. OK, but no more. I'm having my eyes peeled on you. Sorry. Can I see? Can I see? There you go. That'll be dear. You can't put a price on talent. I bet they have put a price on it, and it'll be through the roof. I how much is it? We'll talk about it later. Oh, it'll be cheaper if you talk about it later, will it? Dad. Rob. Why don't you take Jodie for another swim? Come on, we'll do the scene from Titanic. Do you know it? No. I'll teach you it. <laughs> well? Three and a half thousand. Three and a half grand a year? <laughs> Shut up! Three and a half thousand a year? A term. What? <laughs> Shut, Shut up! up. Don't be ridiculous. Look, we can always... No, absolutely not. No chance whatsoever. End of discussion. Sorry for shouting. Not sorry for what I said. But I am sorry for the way I said it. Where is everyone? I have no idea. It's our last day. We should all be together. That's true. Bet they're gutted they're not here to soak up this lovely atmosphere. Sharon, look. No, I won't look. And I certainly won't listen. You've had your last say on the matter, and that's fine. I am going to find the money to put our daughter through stage school. For God's sake. Don't you dare! Don't you dare take that patronising tone with me! How are you going to get £10,000? Rob a bank? You haven't got a gun, have you? No, I haven't. And you should be extremely relieved about that. I'm just being practical. What's your favourite song? It's... What? What is your favourite song of all time? I don't know. What if I had that gun pointing to your head and said you could listen to one last song before you die? What would it be? Relax. I am relaxed. I'm asking you a question. No. Relax. My Frankie goes to Hollywood. So, what... Really? Yeah. Top tune. So, what if Holly Johnson's parents, when he said he wanted to be a singer, what if they said, no, we don't support you, we're not going to help you, you've got to work in a shoe shop? There is a slight difference. Tell me the difference. Holly Johnson can sing. Oh. 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 Sharon! Sharon! <laughs> 